A review of a leaked membership list belonging to the far-right militia group known as the Oath Keepers reveals a not-at-all-surprising large number of names of police officers. 370 of them, in fact, all believed to currently be cops, and that includes 10 police chiefs and 11 sheriffs. That's all according to an analysis by the Anti-Defamation League Center on Extremism, which looked over the more than 38,000 names that appeared on the list. Membership roles themselves were released by a group called Distributed Denial of Secrets. Also, over 100 active duty military members were identified, and so too were more than 80 politicians who held office as of August or are running for office currently. Associated Press contacted some of the politicians and police officers whose names came up, and most denied any current affiliation with the group, though they did not explain why they were at one time affiliated with an organization that caters to white supremacist ideology, demonizes immigrants, and is agitating for a civil war. More than two dozen members of the Oath Keepers are facing charges related to their role in the January 6th Capitol riot, and that includes the group's founder, Stuart Rhodes. Keep this story in mind when you hear about this next one. The report from the Marshall Project tracked how many billions of dollars in COVID relief money to states actually went to arming local police forces. The American Rescue Plan included $350 billion in assistance to state governments, and by the first quarter of this year, only about a third of that money was allocated. And much of it was sunk into the criminal justice system. More jails, more cops, and more police equipment. As the Marshall Project reported, more than $52 billion in assistance went to states' general funds as a form of revenue replacement. And from there, half of the money went toward projects related to police, courts, and prisons, while less than 10% of the COVID funding went to actual public health programs. The analysis uncovered five cities that used the pandemic aid to purchase armored vehicles, nine that purchased police drones, and 38 local governments that used the money to buy more tasers. Although in that case, police did try to claim it was an expenditure to reduce COVID spread. Police in Oneonta, Alabama, for example, said they bought new long-range tasers so that, quote, officers will not have to get so close to the perpetrator. To be fair to these local governments, they just did what President Biden told them to do. Back in May, Biden started touting his plan to hire more cops to respond to an uptick in violent crime in major cities, even though those crime rates are still at historical lows. And Biden encouraged states to use the COVID money they received to hire more cops. He said, quote, to every governor, every mayor, every county official, the need is clear. My message is clear. Spend this money now. Use these funds we made available to you, prioritize public safety, do it quickly before the summer when crime rates typically surge. Well, those states listened, and now we have a bunch of cops who may or may not be members of an extremist right-wing militia walking around with new drones and tasers, all while a pandemic continues to run roughshod over the population. Hey, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of our new videos. Also, if you want to see Means Morning News in its complete form, not just the clips we post here, head on over to Means TV and get access to all our new episodes and our entire backlog, plus tons of other great movies and original TV shows.